Hey guys, today I'm gonna to break down this eye look for you and I'm gonna show you how to do everything else as well, but we're gonna kind of speed that through, you know, foundation, blush, all that. You're gonna see all the products that I use, but we're gonna focus on the eye look, which is actually super easy. Anyone can do this, any eye shape, any eye color. You can keep with neutrals and do a pop of color with a liner like I have, or you could keep it completely neutral, use a brown liner and place the blue. Just really use your imagination. Use what works for you, but these techniques that I'm gonna show you are like super fast way to look very polished and very pulled together and it's such a pretty look. I have been wearing this almost every single day. So let's hop to step by step how I got this look and I hope you guys enjoy this. I have already primed my face with a mattifying primer and now I'm going in to prime my eyelids. I'll be sure to list everything in the description box below for you guys if you're curious about any of these products. I am taking a Sigma eye base. I am surprised by how much I love this. It really does lock your shadows into place and creates a very smooth canvas for you to work with. I'm taking the shade Autumn and I am just throwing this in my crease. I'm actually gonna build the color up quite a bit. So I'm starting out by doing your typical windshield wiper motions and then I'm turning my head to make sure that I evenly blend out the edge of my eye, kind of meeting where the edge of your brow ends. I am buffing and building up the color. You want to start with a little and continue to add the color to the intensity that you like. I'm going quite intense with this color. Uh, it's a lighter shade, it's not like a deep brown, so it doesn't look too harsh and you really can layer it up. I'm now taking the shade Hot Cocoa, which is just a warm brown. I am using the same brush. I wanted this to be really simple, so it's a quick look that you can just grab a couple colors, buff it on the eye, throw on some liner and you're good to go. Uh, right here I am just wiggling the brush back and forth very gently and I just want that color to be even all over the lid. I don't want to go above the crease so I'm just working that color in and softening it up. Again, start with a little and layer on more. That's the best way to get an evenly blended look. Now I'm taking a clean brush and I am cleaning up those edges. I am going to curl my lashes. This really helps to open up the eye. And now we are lining. Now here I'm using this vibrant blue liner from Jane. It doesn't have the finest tip because it is an automatic pencil, but I'm gonna show you a trick on how you can really create a very clean edge with your liner. It's easy as can be. And by the way, guys, you don't have to use bright blue. You could use another bright color or you could use a neutral. Use whatever liner you want with this look. It's gonna look great no matter what. And, but I really like the, I like the blue liner. I think it's a really nice statement without being too in your face. Okay, now I am taking a cleansing cloth from Olay, one of my favorites, really gets rid of the makeup quickly. And I am just edging out that liner and the shadow. It's gonna create a really soft cat eye because we are matching the edge of the shadow up with the edge of that wing. All right, moving on to foundation. I am using my Genius Gel from Marc Jacobs, one of my absolute favorites. I am buffing this all over the skin just to even things out, make my skin look more flawless than it actually is and more even. And then I'm gonna take a dampened beauty blender and just kind of press that into the skin with no product on it just to make sure that everything is evenly and perfectly blended. I am taking a concealer from New York Color Cosmetics. This is like three bucks. It's a gorgeous gorgeous concealer very gel like in texture and does some very subtle highlighting and really helps get rid of those dark circles I'm taking my airspun loose face powder from Cody this used to be a favorite of mine it's a favorite again I'm pressing it in with my forever puff and look at how flawless of a finish it gives you you really can kind of pile it on and it still looks natural somehow all right now we are bronzing up the face I'm using a bronzer from gosh cosmetics it is so blendable and wonderful. You see when I first put it on, it looked a little scary, but it, you can't screw this bronzer up. It just blends evenly, beautifully. I am just warming up the edge of my face. I'm hitting all of the usual spots, cheekbones, chin, jawline, down the neck, top of the forehead, just trying to add some warmth to my very pale face. And now we're gonna add some rosiness to my cheeks. This just is going to further help me look more alive. And now we're gonna highlight right underneath the eyes. I'm kind of into this type of highlighting where I set my concealer with a powder. And now we're gonna move on to my eyebrows, which today just, they did not want to play nice. I have an eyebrow zit, what the heck is that? Does that happen to any of you guys? Like, 
this is just an odd, bizarre thing and makes it look like my eyebrow shape is not what it should be. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am doing my best to fill them in and make them look as pretty as possible. I did spend an awful lot of time here, so I didn't want to kind of drag it out and make you bored going through all of that. So now I'm taking the shade Harvest Moon, which is just a matte cream shade, and I'm highlighting my brow bone. It really pulls the whole look together and makes your eye look very lifted. I'm going to throw on a little mascara. This is a new favorite that I am loving, and I will be talking more in detail about tomorrow alongside a bunch of other mascaras. I'm doing a full-on hot or not mascara review, so be sure to check that out. I'm just layering it up and making my lashes look as volumized and long as they possibly can. Time to line my lips. This is called Your Lips But Better because it makes your lips look, well, better. All right, so I lined my lips and now I'm using a product, Don't Hate Me, that you can only get in Germany. This is one of my favorite lipsticks, but just use any creamy pink lipstick that you like. A pink gloss on top. This is Gloss in Love. And if you mess up, like we see, look, I keep going outside of the lines. What's going on? I'm going to take my pointed Q-tip, fix that up, and voila. I'm just going to shape the nose a little bit because, I don't know, I just felt like going that extra step. I don't always do this, but I just take a crease brush, a little brown shadow, and just basically draw a line on both sides of the bridge of my nose. And this just slims things out and makes your nose look cuter. So let's just set in all of that hard work with Urban Decay's D-Slick setting spray and voila. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to thumbs up if you do and leave me comments on what other tutorials you would like to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching.